what's up what it is what's good what's going on youtube i am back with another ratio reaction episode so today i'm reacting to the tea room and this oh my god y'all it's a lot of shit going on on youtube these tea pages are dropping 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 all these videos and shit so i'm trying to catch up so um anywho y'all this video is titled that she posted cj so cool posting videos with leon armand allegedly evicted from his apartment Ooh, what armand that can't be true bro that cannot be true that's not true i don't believe it but um anywho y'all without further ado let's get into this video I don't know why I was just talking so fast. But y'all, let's get into this video. Bye. Mm. You know, you guys all know CJ has been speaking about his YouTube views dropping recently, but he's now been posting old videos on Facebook. Now, these videos are with Realty and the kids. He stated, Leon should be given an Oscar nomination for this performance. Could you guys cry on cue like that? Now, this video actually went viral yesterday and got 2.1 million views so he made some big money off of that old video but let's move on to this next topic with armand and regina my comment on that is who gives a fuck everybody everybody repost something everybody sharing sh shit i mean he can do that like he the one who filmed the video he the one who came up with the parade he the one who told the kid to cry he's like come on now like Y'all are doing too much. Like, I'm sick of hearing about royalty and CJ, but I feel like that's what y'all want me to react to, so that's what I've been doing. So, if y'all don't want me to talk reckless or anything like that, or give me my raw reaction, stop clicking on this video, please. Don't click on this video if you're not real. We talk, we real over here, okay? We don't talk, we don't do all that pillow talking. We don't do pillow talking. We don't, uh, we don't, we do, we shady. And we just do nothing. We real, we real over here. So if you're not used to nobody being real and you want to deal with that thick ass shit, go to DMB Nations. <laughs> Honest plan. Let me get back into the video. Hey, now Akbar did a video on her YouTube channel where she spoke on a situation that supposedly or allegedly occurred with Armand and Regine. What do you think about Regine's boyfriend going on live? Did you do that live? Tell me. Talk on the show on the live. Tell me. I said it. Well, something that girl became somebody new. What? So it says, R. Bart B. said her friend lived in Regine Carter and Armand's Warren's building. A recall, Armand's getting kicked out with all his belongings in the hall. Wow, what? Come on now. Y'all feel like it's other business. No, we got it. It's one of my things. I don't know what it is. She just told me it is. What I think is, he's left with a demand to go online and tell her business. When this ain't the first time they got it, so he done got put out. This is the second time they get put out. They say, I'll make so if you're my friend talking to them, they say, they sign here. She was living with them? I don't know, but they say, like, he got put out. This is the second time, but I don't know. You know, I ain't I was just, I knew she was going to say that. Everybody say that Armand and Trey is gay. Mostly Trey, but uh, y'all, I feel like y'all probably say that they probably a little sway that way because they're so respectful and when it comes to, you know, being in society, you know, just being in the public eye, y'all see them as 
you know, being respectful, we don't see a lot of that. Y'all used to them hood ass niggas, ghetto ass niggas, and those be the ones that's really gay. So since he's so sweet and nice and he's a singer, he's such, he's gay. So we might as well just call Chris Brown gay gay. But I, I feel like she got a lot of mouth since she lost that little weight or got that little surgery weight. Cause he can come back on your ass and talk about that weak ass rapping you doing. <laughs> He could say some stuff like that. Like, if it wasn't for surgery, you start. You'll probably be a little big bark, okay? <laughs> Instead of all, I bark, you'd be a big bark. That's just how honestly I feel. And if he did get evicted out of his apartment, what do that have to do with your friend? Like, okay, he he said something on live, but okay, like, doesn't matter. Like, Regine said something about him. People people be forgetting. Like, men can say something too, back to you too. As long as they don't put their hands on you. He came on live probably. I didn't see the live, but he can say what he wanted to say. But as long as he don't put his hands on him, LMA. As long as they don't put their hands on him, on her. But for you to say something, I'm going to say it how it is. Sweetie, you come from a gay city. <laughs> so, of course, you're going to think he gay. Everybody gay in Atlanta. Everybody's gay in Atlanta. Let's, let's just put that out there. Everybody's gay in, in Atlanta. Mostly the men, 90% of the men are gay. And, or I'm, I'm say 80% of the men in Atlanta is gay. And she comes from Atlanta, which probably half of the niggas that she didn't fucked around with is gay. So of course she's gonna think her mind is gay. That's my honest opinion on it. But let's get back into the video. You know, I about him. What makes you think that about him? And also, I'm going to say this too. I just said all that, but again, I'm going to say this again. People build storylines, and you got to think about it. Regine Carter is a celebrity in Atlanta. Albright is a, a rapper in Atlanta. People that, and Candy, I think Candy knows uh, Regine's mother, and Candy is Albright's cousin, so it's just to help everybody's helping somebody trying to build up their uh, their views their lives their music because I bark her music is still trying to get up there so of course she's gonna say something Armand trying to get his music up there trying to, of course he's gonna say something and the whole person that's the key to all this is Regine she's the person like her dad is a rapper and all that shit so she clearly putting everybody on. Everybody working with each other. Everybody's working with each other. Cause why out of blue she's gonna say that her friends gonna tell Albert all that and Albert knew that she was going on this interview and they was gonna ask about that. My friend said that you know what you're doing. But that's still not gonna make us click on your music at all. Sorry. No. <laughs> but um I just say they either working I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. They all these people are working together. Like, come on now, this is fake. Come on with a better storyline than this weak ass shit. Oh, I'm gonna get to put out his apartment. Like, come on, y'all, make another storyline or minding them. If y'all doing all this bullshit, trying to get us to watch y'all even more, this is not the way to go. Like, bro. Armand, focus on your music. Regine, focus on your acting. Our bark working on that weak ass rapping music you're doing. Like, this storyline is weak as hell come with something better than that please this is weak if you're going to make a storyline on that as well as this whole cj so cool situation down in the comment section below oh that's it well you guys Ooh. well I feel like all this stuff is some bullshit, y'all. Like, people... People make up storylines and people want to be relevant in the public eye. And I get that. Like, I probably... If, even if I... If I dated a celebrity or something and I know that I'm trying to be more up there in life, 
or or I, or I'm trying to work on my uh my career and I want my career to go. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna lie about it. Like damn, my whole girlfriend is a celebrity. Hmm. Just give me a chance to put out my music, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a storyline with her friends, and then I'm gonna tell my girl about like all this is some bullshit like. It's just some bullshit to make us click on them even more. And guess what, y'all? I'm going to just keep, keep on reacting to it because it's going to bring me my little mini views I get. So, shit. But I'm going to say the real. You know, I'm going to keep it real and let y'all think how y'all think. But I just feel like this is another storyline to keep us watching, to keep us clicking and giving them some views on Instagram and Facebook and this whole social media. So, but I'm here for it, and I know you guys are here for it. So, without further ado, well, I said without further ado. <laughs> so, if you like this video, comment down below. If you want me to do more reaction videos, comment down below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that. What I always say, Bizel. And I always remember the purpose of living is to keep on living. Peace. Let's get to the next video, y'all.